How are you? Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are taking apart this salt water jar. It is around 2 gallons and has served as unwanted pests. Anemones and tiny salt water starfish and brine shrimp grow out tank for a while now. However, we switched to using frozen artemia instead. And, we don't need it anymore. So we are going to use it as self-sufficient ecosystem as we have done within the past. It works quite good and maintain itself with only water top offs. Let's get to it then. We start by emptying it and washing it for a couple of minutes to get rid of salt and debris. Salt water tends to stick on glass surface and it is best if you brush it off. Next, we move on to measure where the terrestrial plants holding holes will go. Then using a drill we create holes to allow for the aluminum extruder to do its job. The holes in the extruder we use match perfectly with tiny plastic planting pots we recycled from buying plants at fish stores. Sorry for the noise, we kept it just to give it the real feel. The extruder works simply by screwing two parts together. Hope you are enjoying the video. Please like and subscribe and let us know in the comment what you would to see on our channel. And that's it. Aside from preparing the lid cover, we prepared the rocks and the false bottom using crushed lava rocks. Crushed lava acts as filter media and host beneficial bacteria. Using it as base layer will further help with circulation. On top of the crushed lava, we added fertilization powder to help boost nutrients at the beginning for the plant. For this setup, Fertilizers shouldn't be high in nitrogen and pick one that doesn't increase ammonia. Next we need some aqua soil to provide the plants with substrate to root in. However using new aqua soil causes ammonia spikes, thus we decided to fill it out using a pre-established tanks. Also adding recycled water adds microorganisms and bacteria. Adding water and substrate together, turns the water cloudy. Wait for it to settle and start the hardscaping. Although, it is better to completely clean the organic dust from the water before adding rocks to avoid accumulations in unwanted areas. Scaping tiny nano jars like this is tricky. The opening is narrow and doesn't allow for much game. It is easier if you pick a couple of large rocks and a piece of driftwood rather than creating formations with small rocks. The scape is simple and solid. It should be stable to allow for the jaw relocation and movement. Now that's done we move to preparing the plants and adding them to the tank. Attach the java moss or any other moss to rocks and wood prior to placing in the tank. Then, add any other sand or small rocks for accents. You have now time to do changes before the plants are in place. This will help you avoid making modifications. Modifying tiny scapes like this is easy, using tweezers. However, due to limited space, your plants might get derooted. All right. Let's get to planting. We first start in the background using fast growing plants like Hygrophila rotorum, then towards the middle with Pogos Taman Helferi, a nice wavy plant that grows bushy and sometimes tall. It adds green and shape to your scape. It is important to pick easy growing plants for a setup like this. After all it is a closed ecosystem and doesn't get much light in our case. We only place it next to a window or under a grow light, but still the lid won't let the light pass through. Again towards the back, we add Amazon sword. Amazon sword grows big and make a nice background plant when in tiny scapes like this one. We are also adding a piece of red lotus. Red lotus with low light will grow tall and adds colors to the tank. Any tank even small jars like this, benefits from botanicals. We are adding a handful of cones that were recycled from a previous tank. With plenty of bacteria and biofilm on. Now it is time to place the tank where you want and move on with filling water. If you are not using grow light, place it on a south facing window with indirect sunlight. And use only plants that require low lighting conditions. Fill it to the top to compensate for evaporation and top it up when you see the water level down. Moving to the terrestrial part. Pick plants that grow well in water. We used golden pothos since they can grow solely in water. We use trimmings. If you want to use a whole plant, make sure to clean the potting media it was in. Those baby endlers were in garden bucket tank, since it sought to mid is best if we bring them in. They will serve well in here until next summer. In this closed ecosystem, fish will eat copepods, plants will consume fish poop and filter the water. It is self-sufficient and can last a long time without maintenance. 
it is time for goodbye now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Goodbye. Au revoir. Enjoy.